I yield five, five minutes to the gentleman from Ohio. Mr. Kucinich. I, I thank the gentleman. Uh, Chairman Bernanke, your staff believed that Bank of America knew about Merrill Lynch's accelerating losses in mid-November, a full month before coming to you and weeks before its shareholders voted to approve the merger. Those fourth quarter losses rose to over $15 billion out of the pockets of Bank of America's shareholders. But I want to ask you, did the Fed know about those accelerating losses before the Fed approved the merger at the end of November? No, I don't think we did. Well, uh, may I uh, introduce into evidence <clears throat> this email, uh, which is from Dennis Herbst of the New York Fed to Audrey Overby of Merrill Lynch, and it's dated Wednesday, September 17th. It says, hope this gets to you. Audrey, our management, that is the New York Fed, has asked to continue the flash report on a daily basis, and I'm sure you'll share with the SEC. So the Fed was receiving <clears throat> detailed information by which they could have concluded that the overwhelming losses at Merrill Lynch uh, were more than problematic and, uh, and that the Fed could have uh, done something if they chose to. Now, uh, are, you, are you familiar with this email? Or are you saying that there's no... Well, we are certainly involved in, 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 a, in, a, in a light way in the oversight of those of, of Merrill Lynch since we began to lend to them, but we're not their formal supervisor and our information but, about their losses would certainly be not... But Mr. Chairman, the, the Fed knew what Bank of America knew. You were, you were saying uh, earlier uh, with respect to Bank of America, as a matter of fact, you, were, you, were, uh, you really put on them the responsibility to notify the SEC, but yet you knew you knew before the merger was approved. In September, I mean in November? I don't, we, we didn't know about the $14 billion. I'm sure we didn't know that. But, but you knew about Merrill Lynch's condition before you approved the merger. Now you, you, did you not? Did you not know about their financial condition was failing before you approved the merger? If, if not, this, if you say no again, that flies in the face of this email that that came from uh, somebody at the New York Fed who's tracking Merrill Lynch on a daily basis. Well, they're tracking it, but it's difficult to know what these valuations are. They have to be done by professional asset managers. I, I, I was not aware. All I can say is I was not aware, and I don't think anyone else at the Fed was aware of the $14 billion in losses. There's another email here saying that the Fed has followed up with the request for daily P&L, uh, profit and loss, uh, relative to Merrill Lynch. Now, uh, if and, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to enter that into the record as well. Without objection. When you permitted the merger of this company that was too big to fail, you knew the company would be a significant player in four of the five critical financial markets, namely wholesale payments, foreign exchange, U.S. government and agency securities, and corporate and municipal securities. Isn't it true that the combined entity of Bank of America and Merrill as a significant player in four or five critical financial markets was a key rationalization for Fed action to bail, uh, to bail out the merger. I don't know. I'd have to get back to you on that. You, excuse me? I'd have to get back to you on that. I don't recall the details. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a quote from a Fed memorandum entitled, Considerations Regarding Invoking the Systemic Risk Exception for Bank of America Corporation. And the quote is, an inability of these organizations to fulfill their obligations in these markets and related systems would lead to widespread disruptions in payment and settlement systems in the U.S. as well as abroad. Now, in our investigation, we have not encountered any evidence that the Fed considered the potential for systemic risk when you approve the merger of Bank of America and Merrill Lynch, which only weeks later was too big to fail. Now, Chairman Bernanke, did you really believe that Ken Lewis's threat to invoke a MAC was a bargaining chip, as you stated in an email dated December 21, 2008? I thought initially that it might be, yes. But did his use of a, a bargaining chip help him obtain a deal he would not have otherwise received had he merely asked for increased assistance from the government? 
But as I also said, I think in the later email, um, after listening to him and having more discussions, I came to the conclusion that he was really uncertain about what to do. We provided advice, uh, which he ultimately took, and we took steps to prevent the destabilization of his company and the financial system. Mr. Chairman, I, I'm, I ask you for one more minute. Yield the gentleman an additional minute. Isn't it true that you did not believe the Merrill losses merited special attention from the government? Let me direct your attention to handwritten notes from your first meeting with Ken Lewis on December 17, 2008. You reportedly stated the downside of $50 billion doesn't sound big for Bank of America. The $50 billion refers to Merrill assets that Lewis had wanted protection for from the government. The record clearly shows you did believe that there would be systemic consequences if Bank of America took steps to back out of its deal with Merrill Lynch, irrespective of whether it would win in court. So did the threat of a MAC, which you believe would have serious consequences, influence your willingness to give Bank of America financial assistance when you didn't believe it needed to have it? We had demonstrated with Citigroup, for example, that if we saw a major financial institution about to fail and to risk the stability of the financial system, we would try to take steps to stabilize it. So I think we would have done that in any event. M Mr. Chairman, I just want to conclude with this point. You know, Mr. Uh, Bernanke has testified that he was concerned about systemic collapse. We all understand that. He was concerned about Bank of America's collapse. We understand that. And he said that the Bank of America collapse would hardly be a good thing for investors. Th that was your testimony. But if the Fed knew that Merrill Lynch was failing before the shareholders voted, why, why did you not inform the SEC about this? Yeah, if they, if they knew about it, if you knew about it before you approved the merger, why did you approve the merger? The $14 billion of losses that Mr. Lewis reported to us, I don't believe that we, I'm sure we didn't know about that in November. The gentleman's time has expired. Um, and I yield five minutes to um, thank you.